Mike, I'm interested in your background. Tell me a little bit about yourself and your family. My parents were so supportive. They always did things to help me and my sister train our minds. And I was only able to learn things that I thought were cool and fun. And my parents were my biggest backers. They always believed that I did things different than anyone else. And when I was growing up, teachers frowned on that. My parents always backed me and said, you know what, just do it your own way. And they felt like if they let a teacher suppress me, they were not doing their jobs as parents. I was an average or above average student, and by the time I was 15 or 16, I could do things far beyond what you know anyone else could do. Well, every parent wants to give that to their child. They want their children to love learning. Is, is that why, I mean, you were a successful stockbroker. What made you stop and volunteer in schools? My cousin was a math teacher, and one day she asked me to come speak to her class. And I started, you know, showing off my brain and what I could do. And the kids wanted to learn how to do it for themselves. I said, okay, I'll see what I could do. And I, I started teaching them. And in my utter astonishment, they started doing things that were blowing me away. And my wife, you know, instead of saying, you know, Mike, you got to earn money for your family. My wife looked at this as like, this could change the world. You have to, you know, follow your dream, follow your gift, work with these kids. And that's what was the beginning of Brainetics. Everyone has a whole spe different way of learning. Everyone's different. And you kind of address that with Brainetics. Absolutely. I always feel like there's so many, there's visual learners, there are audio learners, there's all different types of people, you know, uh, ways to learn. But the one thing I've always, you know, held true and fast is if something's fun, you will learn. And that's been the key to Brainetics is I won't put one thing in the program that isn't fun and cool and that people won't want to do. Because I promise you one thing, Tracy, it could be the greatest program in the world. If it's boring, it will sit on the shelf. If it is fun and cool, people will do it. it it's really contagious because people start playing with it over and over and over again and they, they start trying to beat their time. And you know, once you get hooked and you see what your brain could do, you can't wait to get to the next lesson. The funny thing is, is 40% of the people that are buying Brainetics are adults that are buying it for themselves because they've never learned themselves. Mm -hmm. And it really is a powerful thing because I just think they've never learned how to use their brain because people, they just say, here's the information for the SAT, here's the information for your math test, learn it. And Kids at an early age have to realize how powerful the brain is because if they get that feeling that I can't in their heart, it will, you know, diminish their abilities forever. And that's, that's a big thing is if you start out young and you start out believing the power of your brain, it will carry on with you forever.